Homework Hotline, what is your emergency? All right, we're going to go check in with Antonio again at the social media board for something a little bit different this time. So this time, instead of your questions, we actually have something for you. This is a little Facebook thing that we post up. It's usually something fairly interesting. We'll be doing this all the time now that the show started again. This one in particular focuses on whether or not radiation can give you superpowers. Now, I don't know about you, but every time I see a spider, I'm thinking, this has got to be the one. This has got to be it. Go finally become Spider-Man. But as we all know, that's not really how spider bites go. Usually it just goes like directly to the hospital. You get a big bump. And there's just no fun to be had. No faster than the spider can. Just, it sucks. Spiders suck in the real world. So anyway, I'm getting off track. So there's just a whole video that goes over like, what radiation would really do, which is not give you superpowers. More stuff along the lines of either give you cancer or do absolutely nothing, which a lot of you might find surprising. But no, radiation is everywhere, really. Rarely does anything. Am I, I mean, wrong? it really is actually everywhere. Um, there, there was an article that I was reading, and um, it's actually if you are traveling in the air, you're getting radio radiation. There is a decent amount of radiation in Grand Central Station in New York City. It's it really is everywhere. Yeah, it's crazy. I know a lot of you might have been concerned about cooties at a recent age, but you get you actually get radiation from sleeping next to somebody. So. If you're over the whole cooties issue, uh, keep in mind you actually get two millirems a year of radiation uh, just by sleeping next to somebody. So the average, though, per year uh, per person is 360 millirems per person. Just, just to give you an idea, we usually get about 360 milliram, millirems per person yeah. per year. So two millirems of those can come from sleeping next to someone. Is that what you yeah, said? Yeah, you can get some uh, from eating Brazil nuts or just living on Earth. Living on Earth alone, you get 200 milligrams a year. Those, those uh, what are they called? Porcelain teeth. Those oh, get a yeah. lot of radiation, right in your mouth, even. <laughs> Little bit, but yeah. I mean, the porcelain teeth. There's, I mean, anyone who's not taking proper care of their teeth and has an issue with radiation, take good care of those teeth. <laughs> you don't want them to be porcelain teeth. You don't want to get radiation right in your mouth. That's like the most invasive. It's a very, I mean, it's a little, very little bit of radiation. It's in your mouth. But you still get radiation for it. Yeah, and that's it is not a great mouth. spot right. for it. You're very, very right about that. But just so you're not overly concerned after watching this show, you actually need about 450,000 millirems to, of radiation to be at risk. Oh, but what is, what is uh, important to note is that when you smoke, it's 16,000 millirems you can oh, get wow. for smoking. So you're getting actually, okay, with, in your teeth, with, if you get porce, porcelain teeth or crowns, you're only getting tenths, so fractions of one um, milla, millirem. And you might um, get porcelain teeth because you smoke, so. That's also true, so <laughs> then it's just compounding. But with smoking, you get up to 16,000 millirems when you're smoking. So that's really a, actually a, a decent amount of of radiation there. So compared to a lot of the other stuff, um, it's pretty high level there. Um, also, if you're air traveling, I mentioned that, it's just one milliram uh, per thousand miles you go. So smoking's a lot. Yeah. Or depending on the type of house you live in, if you've ever driven by a brick house, it's called a masonry home, you get about seven milligrams a year from that. 